In 2017, the UK witnessed one of its worst terror attacks in history. 22 people died in a bombing. Another 100 were injured. An inquiry was held. It found that the attack could have been avoided had MI5 acted on the intelligence it received. MI5 is a British intelligence agency. It had information about the bomber. It knew that there was a national security threat, but did not act on it quickly enough. Now, survivors and families of victims are taking MI5 to court. More than 250 people are taking legal action. This is believed to be the first time MI5 has been sued over its failure to stop a domestic terror attack. Have there been cases, other cases like this in the world? And is this the way to go about it? Can you sue the intelligence agency of your country? Here's a report. In a rare turn of events, more than 250 people have joined a group action. They have sued the MI5, the British Intelligence and Security Agency. Why? To answer this question, we need to go back to 2017. In May that year, the UK witnessed one of its worst terror attacks in history. It happened at a concert of pop star Ariana Grande in Manchester. Just as concert goers were leaving the show, a suicide bomber detonated his device. 22 people were killed, another 100 were injured. And when we left, there was, um, like, down the stairs, there was, like, there was, like, kids, well, probably, like, early what teenagers all laid on the floor. They were, like, covered in blood and like, blood on the walls where they'd been laid. So it was just horrifying, really. It was, like, absolute terror. Was, yeah, trauma. There was a split was moment where we said to each other, we thought, well, like, we're going to die. Yeah. Because you're just running for your life. The bombing shook Britain and the world alike. An official inquiry was held. It concluded in March 2023. It said that the attack was avoidable. It could have been averted had the MI5 acted on vital intelligence. So the bombing was the result of an intelligence failure. Here's how. The atrocity was carried out by a 22-year-old named Salman Abedi. He was from Manchester but of Libyan descent. Abedi was a subject of interest to MI5 in 2014, but his case was closed because he was deemed to be low risk. Abedi returned from Libya four days before the blast. MI5 had this piece of information, but according to the inquiry, they didn't take it too seriously. Abedi used a homemade bomb to target the crowds. He stored it in a car in Manchester. Had the MI5 begun an investigation, they could have found the bomb. So there were missed opportunities here, and that had devastating consequences. Following the inquiry last year, the Security Services Director General Ken McCallum issued a public apology. McCallum said, I am profoundly sorry that MI5 did not prevent the attack. But this did little to quell public anger. So about a year later, hundreds of bombing survivors along with relatives of the victims are taking the MI5 to court. This is believed to be the first time MI5 has been sued over its failure to stop a domestic terror attack. In fact, this is a rare case for the world. Intelligence agencies have been sued the world over, sometimes over allegations of spying, other times for defamation, but hardly ever for an intelligence failure. The Manchester bombing survivors and the families of the victims, though, say that their decision is justified. They argue that the MI5 is well-funded and well-equipped. They had information about Salman Abedi and they chose to ignore it and failed at their sole job. It cost people their lives. So now it's time that the MI5 pays the price. Iran has launched a direct attack from Iranian soil towards the state of Israel.